Why is blue so rare in nature? It's a question that has puzzled scientists and nature enthusiasts for centuries. When we look at the world around us, we're greeted by an array of colours, warm oranges, lush greens and vibrant reds. But where is the blue? While blue may seem scarce in nature, there are remarkable examples, such as the stunning blue morpho butterfly. But when it comes to pigments and dyes found in nature, blue is quite elusive. So what makes it so rare? One reason is the way light interacts with matter. The colours we perceive are a result of how objects absorb and reflect light. Blue light has a shorter wavelength and higher energy, making it more difficult for certain substances to absorb and reflect it. However, nature has found a way to harness the beauty of blue in other forms, such as the vastness of the ocean. The reflection of sunlight off the water's surface creates breathtaking shades of blue. In the plant kingdom, some species have developed intricate chemical structures that allow them to produce blue pigments like the blueberries we enjoy or the indigo plants used for dye. Animals, too, have evolved fascinating adaptations to exhibit shades of blue. The vibrant blue plumage of the peacock is a result of light scattering by microscopic structures in its feathers. From the electric blue of poison dart frogs to the metallic blue of beetles, nature showcases its creativity in producing captivating blues, albeit in limited quantity. As humans, we've long been fascinated by blue and have strived to recreate it. Historically, obtaining blue pigments was a significant challenge, with some civilizations valuing blue more than gold. Today, we have an array of synthetic blue pigments and dyes that allow artists and manufacturers to replicate the beauty of blue in various mediums. So the next time you marvel at a rare blue flower or gaze at the endless blue expanse of the sky, remember the intriguing journey of blue in nature. Blue may be rare, but its presence reminds us of the extraordinary wonders of our natural world. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.